people who own multiple pets what is some drama going on between them right now. Three cats until several months ago, now four, all from different litters, all fixed. When it was just the three girls they had a shifting power dynamic that my wife and I called the triple D tent. When the male was added, things got weird. He terrorizes one, creepily stalks another, and is terrified of the third. This has created a bizarre new dynamic with the top cat the female that terrifies the male for the first time in years. The Dachshund will not stop invading the Beagle's personal space crate to suck on her ears. The Beagle has had it and wants it to stop. Two things though. One Beagles have a really hard time being stern and intimidating. Two Dachshunds are not easily intimidated. So this morning we had 40 minutes of Beagle growling not very convincing sounding and Dachshund sass barking back ending up as usual with an annoyed Beagle with soggy ears. It is hopeless. One thing I learned about growing up with the Dachshunds. They do not understand what personal space is. And even if they did they do not give a duck. So true. When I was married we had just gotten a Dachshund puppy and she had to be touching us both always. But we would sit on the couch with her between us and she would have a part of her in contact with both of us. One day we tested her and would slowly start to inch away and she would readjust to stay in contact. Eventually my ex and I would be on opposite sides of the couch and her nose would be touch one of us and her tail the other. I had a Dachshund that would keep me and girlfriend at the time one weenie apart. If we were hugging he would try to get between us, and when we would play fight he would get mad and try to break it up. My hamster waits until my dogs are asleep and then runs on her wheel, which wakes them up. And then she stops until they fall asleep again. The mini mules keep fighting over who gets to lay on the soft spot next to the gate. One cat has been sleeping in another's favorite spot and she gets so offended that her spot is taken. She sits there and glares while waiting for the other cat to move. We have two goats that came from a dairy farm that do not want the other goats to get all the attention. So they chase them off but are still too scared of us. So they stand there and stare at us instead. My gurumi begs worse than my dogs and constantly wants food. How can I say no? He is starting to learn how to spit water to get attention too. I hand feed my one gecko often and now she bites my fingers every time I try to do something in her enclosure. One of the cats will not drink water unless it is from the faucet. The coyotes were around the other night and one of the other cats is trying to keep us humans and other barn cats inside. He blocks our way or grabs us if we try to go outside. He is literally the best cat. He brought home a stray kitten and they do everything together. It is breeding season for the turkeys. Apparently our one rooster can fend off four toms in his own pretty easily. Toms can get pretty nasty. Do not mess with the rooster lol. We live on a farm there is always something going on lol. Do everything together. Oh man. In college. We lived in the second floor and would leave the sliding glass door open with the screen door shut on nice days. We'd often come home to find my dog stuck on the balcony. We figured out that my room at S cat was opening the screen door to let the dog out and then closing the door. Look dog go. The door is open. Go smell all the smells. I'm your friend. I help. Closest door laughing victory is mind rule face. Now I can slumber in peace. We also caught the cat knocking napkins and mail off the counter for the dog to chew. We thought she was knocking it off herself until we caught the helpful cat providing her goods. I think the cat enjoyed us scolding the dog. One of my cats used to jump up on the counter or stove as soon as someone turned their back and toss food to our beagle may she rip. It was simultaneously really irritating and adorable. She never ate anything herself. We have also had two dogs since and she never fed feeds them. My two dogs like the same bed, so they will fight over it until the end result is they just both sleep on it, while the other bed just goes unused I don't see the difference between the two they are both super soft. Is it position in the room? What if you switched the unused bed with the bed they fight over? I have moved the beds around. Sometimes they will sleep separately with one dog reluctantly taking the second option bed. If I switch the beds, then they will sleep on it as well. But if both beds are present. Their favorite is always their priority. LOL. My dad says it might be the texture. One is slightly smoother so. It feels cooler. Maybe it has an interesting smell. 
three cats to on purpose. Then we had a happy accident for the third Maku, Chloe, and Oliver. Oliver wants to play constantly, and both the girls hate that. Their lines cuddle with him in order to share a lap, but they get so mad at him when he tries to play. They don't he hurt him though, just swatting with no claws and growls. Whenever they try to do that though he runs to my mom and cries until she picks him up. He s definitely got youngest child syndrome. My mom's elderly cat hated having his tail touched and was generally a grouchy old man. My sister's cat was the platonic form of little brother. So he would go up and gently tap elder cat's tail and then look innocent when elder cat hissed and growled at him. Sometimes sister's cat would stand next to elder cat, hovering his paw right over and clearly saying, I'm not touching you, while elder cat angrily yowled at him. The platonic form of little brother. Was he an orange tabby? I feel like orange tabbies are just like that. I had one that did that as well. He would annoy two different cats by touching their tails. He only did it to the cats that hated it. He did the I'm not touching you thing too. He was a brown tabby. He was a complete love to everyone else. But just got mega kicks annoying my mom's cat. Love this question laughing I have two cats one that is a bit dramatic and there is always this stray cat that comes to stare at her from the distance. The never gets close but my cat yells like she is being attacked. When I go out and check it out the stray cat is on the other side of the sidewalk and my cat is at my door all curled up. All this happens and my other cat just stares through the window with dislike for my yelling cat. I am ashamed of my cat because her yelling is like super loud and all my neighbors know it s her causing drama. Ma. There is a weird ducking cat out here. My roommate has two large male dogs and I have a small female dog. My roommate's male dogs like to roughhouse and play around sometimes. Whenever they get too loud my little dog will raise her head and growl ever so slightly. Just enough for them to hear her. As soon as she does, they stop for a minute and start playing quieter. Ducking surreal to see. I had a female chihuahua mix who was like that. We used to call her the fun police at the park. Because any time dogs would start roughhousing a little too much. She would run over and get in the middle of it and the other dogs would just stop. She was like 9 pounds. My mom had a chihuahua mix that behaved like this. We also called her the fun police. It is a type of dog body language. Splitting up means they think they are playing too rough. I live on a farm. Every day is a new case of the cats trying to eat something they shouldn't. On my uncle's farm a cat got into it his head that attacking a cow was a good idea. It jumped on it bit it around the neck. Of course when one cow runs, they all run. Cat caused a mini stampede that took out several fences and somehow walked away unscathed. Farm cats have 99 lives. Can confirm. My family farm cat is somehow still kicking at 23 barely. I have two sibling cats. A boy and girl. The girl developed heart problems and was not eating as much. So the boy cat took advantage and was eating a lot of her share. Now she is a little too skinny and he has gotten fat. Okay. So I need to separate their food. So I got an automatic feeder for the boy cat and made a feeder box that only the girl cat could fit in. Which made the boy cat mad. He eventually gained the confidence to Winnie the Pooh himself into her feeder box. Which is frustrating if I ever need to be gone for the weekend as he will literally eat all her food before she touches it. So far my solution is to put a little inflatable collar on him when I'm gone. So he has a barrier besides his fat to keep him from going in. Also I had to barricade his automatic feeder because he kept beating it up to get loose cables. Now he stares longingly at that feeder all day. Little inflatable collar oh my god I want pictures. I want someone to draw this. The dog does not like when the cat gives him dirty looks. The cat knows this, will deliberately stare him down, and then expertly leap out of the way when he goes to chase her. Our dog is very stupid and cannot stand when the cat stares at him. We have a baby gate to keep the dogs away from the cat's food and litter, and the cat will sit behind the baby gate, tail swishing, and bore holes into him. He loses his goddamn mind. As a kid we had a dog on an invisible fence and a pair of outdoor cats. The cats memorized the entire boundary of the fence and would spend all day sunning themselves inches beyond the dog's reach as she stared and vibrated with tension. After many years of this, 
I was coming home from a walk with the dog and she managed to slip her collar. Then sprinted at one of the cats from outside the fence. Cat tensed up preparing for a fight. Dog realized cat was not running. Skidded to a halt in front of her. Sniffed her for a few seconds. Barked once in her face. Then proudly trotted back to me. Life's goal accomplished. I saw a gif recently of two dogs barking through a gate at each other. When the gate would open they would pause. Once closed, the dogs would bark again. A commenter explained that the dogs are not necessarily barking because they are aggressive towards each other. They are barking because they are frustrated by the barrier and dogs do not have as many outlets for frustrations like humans do. Not sure on the validity of that, but the dude seemed like he knew what he was talking. Could be fun to look into. Dog 1 is trying to trick Dog 2 into following her into the garden so that Dog 1 can then storm back indoors to take Dog 2 feet's bone she is enjoying. Dog 3 is sitting in the on the couch quietly waiting for this to happen. To be the actual winner of this scheme. I occasionally watch my friends two dogs a Pyrenees and a border collie mix at my place and with my own dog. The Pyrenees acts dumb but is actually way more crafty than the other two. The boys. If either of them are taking up a spot she wants, like her favorite spot on the couch or the sunny spot by the front door, she lines walk over to a window and start growling and barking at nothing until the boys come over to see what s up. Then she saunters over to the now open spot and leaves the other two still barking and confused. Yes, when my baby girl got old she would lay on the couch and when she heard someone pass by she s give a low growl to get other dogs worked up and barking like crazy at the windows. She was too tired to do it but someone had to bark at everyone walking by the house and she watched them get yelled at. When my dog went blind she went from sitting at the window watching to sitting on the couch. The cat would sit at the window and run and get her when it was time to bark. We got a puppy two weeks ago. Our elderly cat is furious when we do dog training sessions because cat deserves the treats instead. We end up doing joint training sessions and the cat is actually much more consistent than puppy. We made the mistake of giving one of our two cats a piece of rotisserie chicken cause I had dropped it while striping the meat off. Our cat can now pinpoint which grocery bag has the chicken if we buy one and attempts to rip into the bag to get it. He also sits next to me and meows while I prepare it for salads or whatever. I had a cat that loved KFC. Only KFC. If I brought home grocery store fried chicken, I'd get alternating looks of disgust and disappointment. The other cat cold and tea care less about people food. Not even fish. She s weird. Our cat is obsessed with biting bread. It has to kept in the fridge because otherwise it will be covered in bite marks the second your back is turned. She does not try to rip into the bread. She just bites it all over. Corgi 1T stop herding my chickens. When my corgi was a puppy I took him to my brother's soccer game and he went nuts trying to put all the kids in the net. We had to leave now he is a 13 year old grouchy pants but still has those instincts. He lays in doorways so no one can leave the rooms he thinks he has herded us into. To cats. I opened the window for the first time this year since the weather is finally nice. They have been pushing each other away for the best spot to smell the air. Same. One open window in the house. In my office next to my desk. My two girls usually share really well but the window has been causing squabbles. I have a cat. A puppy. And a dog. Cat likes to lure the puppy under the bed and he can get under, but gets stuck in the middle where it is the lowest. I have to rescue him usually around 2am, and he wakes me up by scratching the floor trying to get out. Cat also likes to knock off things from the counter he knows puppy should not be chewing on. Puppy and cat like to wrestle with each other, but dog does not like the ruckus and barks at them to stop. Cat does not like the barking, so then he chases dog. Puppy follows cat and there is a train of three Tom and Jerry style through the house. At the end of the day though they are always in a big cuddle pile, so I think they will be okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos.